hello and welcome to the channel if you're a motion page user then good news to you because motion page has released 2.0 beta 1 and it comes with loads of features great and awesome features i'm just going to demonstrate just one of them for you to see now let's scroll look at that this is just one of the features or a combination of two features of motion page 2.0 version 2.0 brings a lot of new features like redesign ui a light mode highly requested features like image sequence split text and custom scroll trigger now in this video we're going to be taking a look at the image sequence and the split text feature the image sequence has an extra feature which is the video transcoder so you can upload a video and generate the image sequence directly in motion page just like this so you can see that this is controlled by the scroll trigger this is really awesome and the possibilities are limitless you can do a lot with this without wasting time we're going to check how this works i'm using bricks builder now i have two sections here and what i need is another section in between these two that is going to contain my image sequence or my transcoded video so basically what we need is another section that will contain this sequence now i'm going to go in there and then i'm going to drop a section what i want to do is to give it a height so i'm going to go into the layout and give it a height of let's say a minimum height of 100 viewport height now the next thing we're going to do is to take this container now this container but i guess instead of giving the height to this i'm just going to take that height from here and then drop it in this container and we're still going to have that same result now i'm going to drop uh instead a block there and that block is going to be our canvas now for the image sequence to work you need a canvas element the canvas element is an html element used to draw graphics on the fly via javascript it's just a, a special html element that interacts with javascript especially used for graphics it's, it has a lot of features and a lot of use cases but in motion page we're going to be using that for the image sequence feature so to turn this into a canvas element so we have a block here uh, first of all i'm just going to um, set the minimum height to inherit so it's going to be as tall as the parent's minimum height and then i'm going to go into the content here and for the html tag i'm going to choose custom and then uh, i'm going to write the canvas make sure that spelling is correct and that turns this into a canvas now you cannot have content inside the canvas element because every content in the canvas element is generated by javascript so um so how are we going to have this text uh, we want to put that text in the container so i'm just going to add the text i'm just going to make it a heading and and perhaps uh, i'm going to just uh, call that first of all let's uh, select this section and i'm going to give it a background of dark blue something like that now I'm going to select the container and then I'm going to go to the layout settings and just centralize everything. I want my typography to be centered also and the text, I want it to be white for every text in that container. So now we have the canvas and we have the text in it to be able to position this text here inside the container, like in the center, we want this canvas to be positioned absolutely so that it can be used like it is a background. So I'm going to um, select this container in order to position this canvas uh, absolutely relative to the container. The container needs to be positioned relative. So I'm going to go here and position this container relative and then I'm going to select the container and position it absolute and then i'm just going to go top every all the values here will be zero and then we have our canvas and i'm just going to uh, put that text uh, i'm going to call it uh, limitless uh, let's go to the content and just write limitless okay and then to style it i will just go to the typography and just make it capital and for the fonts family i want to choose uh, a font family called electrolyze and then i want the font style to be italic and the letter spacing i want to move it so something like yeah 20 should be good but then if i if you want it to be responsive perhaps you just use a responsive unit so i'm using um a css so i'm just going to use uh, a responsive uh variable all right so that will you know reduce with the viewport you see what i'm saying because it's a responsive uh, unit 
okay so now I have that I'm gonna save this and just view the front end so we have this space ready to go with our canvas element now uh, you really don't have to do much with the canvas element so all you need to do is to go into motion page so I'm going to the back end here and I am going to launch motion page and I'm gonna create a new timeline and that timeline I wanted to apply to my page called motion page limitless and I want to call that uh, timeline car uh, limitless and I want it to be a scroll trigger before doing this there's one more step we have to go back here and I want to change the canvas uh, ID to canvas because I want to be able to identify it easily okay and for this text I just want to change the ID to uh, text uh, or limitless or canvas text so let me just call it canvas uh, text okay so now we have uh, the the canvas we didn't change that so let me type it again canvas press enter so we have a canvas with an ID of canvas and the heading with an ID of uh, canvas text so I'm gonna save that again and then in motion page I'm just gonna refresh this and the first thing I want to do is to use the video transcoder so uh, let's first of all select the canvas it seems that the width is just let's see what is happening here so um, I have a canvas here and then what we're going to do is to scroll all the way to image sequence and we want to transcode a video now I already have this video here but I want to start from scratch so I'm going to upload this um, I'm going to click to upload my video and here is my video now one of the things that you uh, should do is to make sure that your video is in mp4 or m4v you know any of those formats the original format of this video was uh, .mov but I use a software called Handbrake or you could use any other software to change it to mp4 I'm gonna click to open and then it's gonna give you uh, these so it's, this is the size of the video uh, the frames per second I want mine to be 24 frames quality I'm just gonna leave it at 8 and this is just an information about the total number of images that is going to generate so you click uh, transcode images now you can play this to see how it looks uh, that looks cool and then I'm gonna just click transcode and then it's going to transcode and and you know upload all those images and once it is done then we're gonna start uh, making a few adjustments so now it is done transcoding and you can see if I play this you can see that uh, unfortunately my um, my canvas it doesn't show full screen okay so what I'm going to do is let me just save this animation and then I'm gonna go back let's refresh uh, the front end and see what is going on here okay so I'm gonna set my container make this a uh, full width I'm going to set this to a hundred percent it is going to make it go full width so let's see so you see it's playing but it's not uh, the scroll trigger is not working for now all right so what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna uh, set the lock to scroll bar we're gonna turn it on so you can see now that it's gonna lock to scroll bar. I mean this is very straightforward very simple and it just works and if I save that animation and go back to the front end now uh, this is our original design this is what we are doing now I'm gonna refresh this and let's see how it works so you can see that it works and I am not seeing that text so let's go into bricks and this text is not showing up uh, perhaps because it's probably behind uh, let's move this here and see if there's gonna make any difference and then it's not making any difference so I'm just gonna go in since this is positioned um, th this is position absolute I'm gonna go in here and just change this to position relative because a relative position should normally stack above an absolute position so let's see if that works here yeah, so that causes that text to show up and uh, but we, we are not seeing that text properly so I want to reduce the opacity of the canvas so I'm just gonna select the canvas and then on the layout I'm gonna go to opacity and then I'm gonna set it to 0 0.5 now you're not gonna see it in bricks builder you're not gonna see that video so you just know that the video is gonna show here and you can see now I have um, my video and it's dimmer you can see the text now and then uh, so we're gonna move to the next thing which is animating this text and we're gonna go on to the next feature called split 
text so let's go back to motion page and i want to create a new timeline so i'm going to just click here to create a new timeline targeting the same page and i'm just going to call this uh, text uh, limitless and for that the selector is going to be this we're going to select this text so canvas text that's going to be a selector and we also want it to be a scroll trigger and what we want to do now is we want to animate from and let's go to split text so i'm going to go to split text and animate the, just the character so i want to animate characters but what do i want to animate so i want to animate the opacity so i want it to start from zero and let's turn this uh this on okay lock the scroll bar so you can see that it animates from zero by the way i want to refresh this so i can see the dark okay so now we can see the opacity uh, applied so you can see now it is animating from opacity of of zero all the way to one but then we want to bring in this opacity we want to bring in the uh the scroll trigger the markers so uh, what i want to do is to animate uh, from 95 percent then i want to animate uh, to let's say 55 percent so i'm going to bring in closer so that by the time the text is already at the middle the animation has already completed that's what i want and the next thing i want to do is translate and what I want to do is to translate it from let's say 400 so you can see it moves all the way from the right and then I want to translate it the white direction negative 150 so that moves it uh, all the way from the top uh, the top right and you can see that it's actually animating the characters but we want it to come in one after the other we're gonna scroll back down and go to stagger I want to set a stagger of 0.3 so you can see now it comes in one after the other now the next thing we're going to uh, animate is the blur for the blur we're going to filter and then we're going to select blur and i want it to animate from a blur of 10 so you can now see that it animates from a blur of 10. now let's go all the way up to the scroll trigger because i want it to come in slowly slowly than that so i'm going to change the delay to two seconds so that um it there's a little bit of delay before it comes in and that's it so i'm going to save that and go to the front end to check it out so this is what we currently have and then i'm going to refresh this and let's see all right so we come here and you can see that happening live this is awesome now what you can do with this is limitless i mean you can do just a lot with this now let me give you an example let me just tell you what you can do with this you can have a product bottle that has an image sequence and you can use motion page to simulate that bottle rotating okay in any axis using image sequence i mean you can actually use scroll trigger to play back any video you can see this is just i mean these are the kind of things you see on high-end website is coming to your motion page and if you're sitting on the fence you know about getting motion page i'm going to tell you look just get motion page because there's just a lot that can happen i mean there's a lot of things in this new version you have this scroll trigger custom code for scroll trigger so here you can actually write scroll trigger code um, if, if there are some more advanced stuff you need to do so there is an option to write the code manually here and you can hook that up with the custom property like here this is the custom property so you can hook that up with motion page and create some incredible animations for your website i'm going to be bringing more tutorials on motion page and these new features and if you want to get motion page i have an affiliate link i'm going to link it in the description and at the end of this video so uh you will be doing me a favor if you use my affiliate link to get motion page and that will be at no extra cost to you just consider it your little way of saying thank you for some of these awesome tutorials. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and hit the like button. Share these videos with others. Hey, and before you go, one more thing. I want to let you know that I'm running this tutorial on a super fast server from webnestify webnestify provides super fast dedicated servers with a whole suite of server management services so check out webnestify